actually cheap without his helmet on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> now he's true. Now you got it. That's fine. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> the sky box. I heard it's you need perfect. a pickup. Cortana to Kilo Actual. Perfect timing. We are all done here and ready for dust off. Hey, keep it oh, down. Oh, all right. All right. Let's go. <laughs> You're, You're, like You're doing great. <laughs> You're doing great. You, like you keep That's driving it. like it's Halo. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know, Chief, I'm nice it. on the Get sticks, but I would feel kind of bad beating the purveyors <laughs> of the Halo. Like? That's right. I won't feel bad at all, don't worry. <laughs> Looks like a and I kind of want to see that lobby again, because I haven't been over there. Oh, all right. <laughs> see what you're doing. I like it. I like it. You like, okay, you like that? Oh, right. really? Okay. This ring is gonna go nuclear uh, in three early minutes, result. and we do not want to be Brian here when it does. on top. Halo has the 343 team hasn't driven yet, so we'll have to see how they do. Look at these ancient dwellings. It almost looks like something lives here. The chaos. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We've got a better chance of avoiding those banshees off road. They're saying Warthog seems a lot quicker now. Hoorah! So no. oh, look at that! So well, the banshees. So Chris Phillips, the handling designer at Playground, Ooh, yeah, he has done an amazing job. Not, just, uh, not only the, the Halo Warthog, but like all the cars on the roster. There was there was a time when, you know, I was tapping people on the shoulder, like, man, you know, do we have like a new handling model? Because it's it's been improved so much. Really, I feel Banshees, really, really, really good. The Banshee, Warthog is actually one of the better models in the game. Well, you He's know, what? looking for. You know, a beast. This is Cortana to all air support units. I'm sending Warlock you coordinates for really, an LZ, really good requesting immediate yeah. evac. Repeat, all air support units to the LZ. Uh, uh, Cortana, near and dear to my heart, we love to come up with canonical reasons for everything. Okay. Uh, I love this. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we actually did some cool stuff. The Warthog is scaled just a little bit differently. We actually have it modeled canonically as a uh, like a civilian transport kind of stripped down version as well. So the CST versus the FAV, uh, which typically has some uh, extra lethal accoutrements uh, up on the, uh, uh, you know, on the, on the back. Uh, but yeah, so there's, uh, it does, it is a little Crazy. faster. It is a little faster. But it's also a little bit smaller than yeah. a typical Yeah, it's around 20, 25 percent, right? I believe, uh, because, smaller. Because yeah. Spartans are like eight feet tall, right? That is the problem, yeah. yes, uh, is if you scale it uh, to a Spartan like we have to do in our games, uh, it really just looks like you have a bunch of four-year-olds <laughs> who can't uh, reach the wheel <laughs> driving a Hummer, yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Which, while hilarious. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I've seen some of the videos that uh, that you guys have of uh, people just sitting in the Halo, and they, you know, the thing is, uh, the, it's massive. It's massive. Oh yeah, it yeah. Is I, like so a, I do feel like a small yeah. child yeah. in the in the real life. We it showed was, it in that video. Oh, uh, look at ahead. that! Let's go! Oh my God! That is awesome. T, you're doing pretty well. I'm so yeah. jazzed that, about an this. Early, an early mishap, but I think you're making up for I, it. I want yeah. it to be competitive. Yeah, this feels good. Okay, intentional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Scarlet Pimple says, love the ring in the sky. They're, looking, they're loving that authenticity. Do we have, uh, will Halo music be included? Uh, is, is a we question. Also we also have. We'll hear the, the Halo it. track during this yeah. event. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yes. That's right. We do, we do have music turned off right now on the show just so we can hear the engines and everything. But yes, Halo music will be in this event. Again, this is my first time playing this event. I intentionally, when, even when we were rehearsing this, yeah. we didn't want to see this event. We wanted yep. to experience it for the first time. Um, you should jump it off the cliff. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, see? Real deliberate yeah, through there. See? I see that. Uh -huh. That's right. Yeah, I'm nothing if deliberate and careful. All right, here we go. I believe. 
I believe. Yeah, there it is. Do it. Well cleared. Yeah. Nice. Well cleared. See, not as much style as Carlos had, but the, it's still intact here. All right. I so, was just staying true to Halo, just jumping. That's yeah. right. You just <laughs> got to plow through it. Um, one of the other things that I think people are noticing in this event, Jeff, is the fact that we've got uh, Cortana here. Yes. Tell us about Cortana. Who is Cortana and uh, what, what, what purpose is she serving here? Yeah, so uh, Cortana originally in the Halo universe is kind of a, uh, an AI companion to Chief mm -hmm. uh, and re is really there to help not only enhance uh, the abilities of, of Chief by providing real-time uh, you know, battleground information, but also the character kind of evolved into really having a personal relationship with the Chief uh, and their kind of friendship and working relationship really formed a really interesting emotional and narrative foundation for the series going forward. So it was, uh, in some ways, from a gameplay perspective, it was awesome to have somebody in your ear oh, helping you. Him. Nice. Uh, helping you to know like where certain enemies were, or what to do, uh, go to the next checkpoint, or yeah. kind of how to tackle. But uh, also from a story and a world of, yeah. and immersion perspective, it was cool to kind of have this character uh, that went through you through several, uh, you know, that you went through several games uh, with. So. And just like Ma Master Chief, Cortana sort of become iconic, an iconic character for the Halo, ha yeah. Halo series. Yeah, yeah ab absolutely, uh, and. And uh, has come in many forms. Uh, mm -hmm. We've uh, we've seen her be your friend. We've seen her be otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, just like <laughs> a real relationship. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> you got ups and downs. What happens if you pass <clears throat> everybody? Mission successful. That's what happens. Um, I want the last name to be Carlos. <laughs> the oh, no, final no, no, boss. Try and keep up. <laughs> I love these hard light guardrails. Yeah, uh, these here. are great. These are fantastic. Um, I'm sorry, Jeff. I, I'm sweating all over this controller. And oh, I'm yeah, hand sorry. It to you. I'm going to hand yeah. it to you in mere moments. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like holding dying. on to an, an oil true. flick. I'm just going to grab it. The controller is going to shoot to the back. Out of your yeah. hands. But I thought I'd go first person here. Just to give uh, everybody a more immersive Warthog experience. Which is funny because... Uh, oh, look at that. We, you, know, you don't get to drive the Warthog in first person in Halo. That's right. Yeah, which, is, right. Uh, which is always interesting. Well, I think I've only got it. Oh, where am I? I'm at 80%. Uh, we see little known little fact, more. Brian is yes. the Stig. <laughs> That's right. I'm the, I'm the Master Stig. Master Stig, they call me. This People wanting to know when this is set during the Halo lore. It's actually oh. set uh, 500 years before the events of Halo Combat Evolved. Uh, <laughs> that, are you being serious? Do you guys have to canonize this as well? I have to canonize everything that I'm asked in chat. It's in the contract. Is uh, that right? Yeah, it's, oh, it's I love it. something about that. That's fantastic. What a great question. <laughs> well, it certainly feels like a big, heavy machine. I will say that to you. This feels like what you would expect the Warthog to feel like. I want to say it feels a little heavier than Forza Horizon 3. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's still got some punch, but you know, the Warthog's never been the fastest thing on four wheels, but it definitely no. feels solid. Yes. It felt like you could flip right, it you a lot. A, yeah. I think it's right. 323. That's right. 323. Yeah. Oh, 3, is it, there 3. is a time. Yeah, see, there we go. 323. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Okay. And to give Brian his proper props, <laughs> yep. I was 332. Okay. Okay. So Carlos, you were yeah, a little too fast. I was right around there. That was pretty close. Before we start the event, Carlos, tell us about your Forza experience. You spent a lot of time in Forza. Um, I have, especially working with the guys, but I can say that I'm not that good. Okay. So, okay. Um, here we go. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll find out one way or the other <laughs> on the track. He could be sandbag. He could be. <laughs> now, this is where T uh, had some go. trouble right here. <laughs> oh, oh man. same thing. We were dead. Now, you got to hit the brakes oh. to back up. Oh, Squeeze the brakes to back up. There you, there go. you there go. go. It's basically uh, a yeah. Formula One race. You just crash in the now, first turn. Yeah, you can't hit the uh, same uh, thing twice. <laughs> Back up, hold, hold, hold the brakes, hold the brakes. There you go. There you go. There we go. Cut it right. Now we're good. Cut it right. 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 <laughs> uh, there, <laughs> there we go. There Let's you go. go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There there we go. go. We're, good. we're good. Get that out of the way I early told you. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> now you got to get the speed I here. You. No, you gotta I love the Covenant Cruiser. We're fine. Oh. Oh, no. It's camouflaged. You can barely see it. We need a little bit more speed. Oh, wait a second. This is a trick. You guys are going to have to back up. You're going to have to back up and get a bigger run on it. Well, actually, it's just going to let you. Maybe you. So, one of Carlos's favorite hobbies actually is cleaning lobbies. Little known fact. Little known fact. Yeah. All right, here we go. I oh. had fun getting my car in here today. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta, you Maybe gotta squeeze that, that trigger. Do not let go. There we go. 
I oh, believe good. in you. We're yeah. good. Gas, gas, gas. You got it. There you it got is. It. You got it. This I is believe. Gonna make it. That sand is super deep. Yeah, we're good. Yes. Oh, there it is. There it is. And flip. Style deck. Let's go. For style points. You definitely have the coolest looking one. You're in the lead. Thank you. The style. This is not based on speed. No, that's right. It's based on other factors. I don't know. We know what. That's true. Put your mind at the end. There Who's we go. this Banks? Oh, I think you're getting right. it now. I think you're getting there it. There we All go. Right. All right. We don't have two hours, so I got to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you have to be. Why within didn't the, the Forza stream go to 6 p.m. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Miss dinner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Jeff, for, for those of uh, uh, you know, if you don't know Halo, yep. what, what are the vehicles flying in the sky? What other Halo universe vehicles are we seeing? So that's here? actually, uh, I love that question because the vehicles that are flying in this uh, in the sky are my favorite ones okay. actually in the universe. Those are Covenant Banshees, uh, and so those are kind of like the the small, nimble, essentially like kind of like fighter craft uh, for the uh, for the Covenant Empire and some of the alien species that use it. And we're there we're we chasing go. after Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, a pelican. Right, there we go. There we go. Oh, Love it. Nice. Speaking of banshees. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. We're, ch and we're chasing after a pelican. This particular pelican is a, uh, a D79 model. Okay. Uh, and, and again, it's one of the things uh, that we really like to have fun <laughs> with is, you know, different things will be visualized a little bit differently depending on the game and when it's set in the universe. So we actually have different model variants. Again, much like you would have, uh, you know, a, a different model variants of a car, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the year, depending on the trim of it. Uh, we actually put a lot of that same thought into it. Sometimes it's to help explain uh, just a sheer oh, art change, yeah, yeah. Uh, but a lot of times it actually serves a narrative function uh, and purpose as well. But we always have a blast with it. But I imagine when they, when is it is it the idea of, hey, we've got a new variant on this vehicle, you need to come up with a, re a, 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 a cano canonical reason for that to exist? Or oh, do I you work in accordance with the team? Or how does that work? <laughs> yes. Okay. It all, uh, it all. Yes. And usually it works. Okay. Period. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. It actually, it's a, it really is a, a combination. We work with the artists. Uh -huh. uh, we work, so it could come from a necessity from the game team itself. Yep. From a gameplay perspective, we want this to have some different functionality. Mm -hmm. uh, it could come from an art direction where we want this to look a little, little bit different or it could come from a narrative side as well where we actually specifically have a narrative or a story reason why we would want something to look be or feel a little bit different uh, so we really can actually come at it from uh, from all angles which is super nice it reminds me T of what we were talking earlier about how playground was very mindful of the setting very mindful of where we are in the world here yeah beautiful historic Britain when it came to choosing the cars that were in the game yeah I love that. All things are taken into account. Everything we, is considered. Yeah. Jeff, you know, I'm going to need you, buddy. I'm going to need you, <laughs> <laughs> Is this an aggregate? Uh, oh, <laughs> look at this. You. This feels like a cross-country event. I love this. this I actually, fantastic. I'm super excited about, like, oh. like the length uh, they'll give you that uh, of the of the experience. It's yeah. super awesome. It's, it's not some little sprint. I mean, you're no. going. Now, is the idea you get Chips you Dubbo is one of the other drivers. I've just now seen that. Oh, please. Oh, oh man, that was super close. Can hit him. I know, I now I want to try to do that. People keep asking if we can hit sheep in the game. I want to know if you can hit those. Right? <laughs> I mean, it feels... Just take uh, him out for extra points. A warthog running through a sheep it actually sounds a lot like your TV commercial. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. And uh, what's funny is that Halo well fans paying attention, uh, we do have some some names from the Halo universe Ooh. actually as some of those alternate drivers yes. as well. Well, All right. I, one Excellent. final time <laughs> yeah. with our man Jeff All right. here, Let's who's see. going to take the final tour of the Halo Showcase <laughs> Jeff, event. No pressure. No, no pressure. Let's go. Let's no go. pressure. I think you're going to do just fine. One miss of, uh, that first, that right-hander, that block, you'll yeah. be fine. You're in good shape if you miss that. Or on, tag uh, it. Or tag it. And beat Brian's time. That's to make a statement. Yeah, that's right. If you could hit that and beat my time, I'd be impressed. <laughs> so again, right. this is the first time looking for Jeff. Good. All right. We're looking good. So, Carlos, I'll turn yes. to you as Jeff. Yeah. I won't talk to him because he's driving. Yes. Um, when you think about, um, you know, we saw that video at the top where we were talking yeah. about bringing the Halo, uh, sorry, bringing the Warthog into Forza Motorsport 4. Yeah. Um, can you talk uh, about what that relationship is like? I mean, obviously both first party studios yeah. within Microsoft. Yeah. Um, how do those, what's that exchange of ideas like? What's that process like? Well, it's super collaborative and it's, I mean, working with the Forza team, working with Playground for us is it's awesome. It's an, a dream opportunity always. So mm -hmm. it's really <clears throat> seamless and collaborative and with all the ideas that are really inspiring and big that, I mean, we're all on board with all of it. Right. So it's really just you know, partnering and helping as much as we can. 
a lot of fun. I bet that there was a lot of discussion, T, about where this event should take place. I mean, starting on the beach, you were saying that has a history with, it, with the Horizon yeah, series. Yeah, we, we, well, we, we, we thought it would be neat to uh, come back to the beach because we had the bucket list event in Horizon 3 right. for the start. And um, as you've seen um, through the route, you get a mix. You, you know, I, t I talked earlier about like th that mix of surface types. Mm -hmm. You know, we take you through a tunnel, so you hit tarmac, you start on the sand, you get the formable tech that we built. Um, and then you made the comment of loving, loving, loving how off-road it feels. Yeah. So the route was, was one where we were trying to pick literally the optimal route to not only give you like the perfect dose of Halo, but we also wanted to give you a really, really, this is a showcase event. Absolutely. So we wanted to showcase all the surface types, you know, during the event. So you get to smash through some walls, um, you know, even like, you know, the, the time we, we, we labored over like what, even what season this event should, should be in. Ah. Um, because uh, can we do it in different seasons? So seasons change everything, <laughs> oh. and you know once you go through it's good back of the box. Oh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> if you go, if you go <laughs> through, once that. you go through a, a, a full you know um, series of events, we co these events will come back. The showcase of events will come back in, in flavors that we call remixes. Okay, you know so um, you'll see this event. Um, it, it has an amazing feel in winter, and you know uh, I bet. I'm, I'm kind of saying that because wow, did I think it really looked good there. Right. But it, it also looks amazing, you know, in the spring this, and in the summer. Yeah. You know, so um, you get to choose, you know, so eventually, you know, you'll, you'll have course all the four seasons and then, you know, decide which one is your favorite flavor, so. Well, I like what I'm seeing here, Jeff. Oh, oh, no. oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That might be it. Did you think you could oh. smash it? Uh, that, that yeah. was we the the oh. We blocks bullets. <laughs> I know. We talked about this. Oh, oh man. my lord! It was a pretty seamless run. Oh. We were setting that up the ultimate comeback. Come on, <laughs> we planned. My jump was planned. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You to Jeff do that. was gonna just. Rip through it. Oh, well, you know what? Other uh, than that moment, it's okay. you've been doing I pretty well. I just really, really like the cars in your lobby. <laughs> uh, well, he might be seeing them up close and personal, depending on how this goes. I think he had a pretty he No, a pretty he, did pretty well. he did pretty well. He, he, he did very well. Do not miss Don't that. Don't miss that Yes, you're if good. You Excellent. Go. Well done. All right. Well, across the line. See. Let's was see better where we than ended a 330? Uh, was yeah, it 330? 320. Let's go. Let's go. Wow. It's controversial. Let's go.